The last few years have seen a drastic rise in the magnitude of attacks on Jews by anti-Israel activists. Anti-Israel vandals no longer limit themselves to pro-Israel targets, but also strike out at Hillel's and Jewish organizations directly. Anti-Israel professors spread blatantly anti-Semitic memes. Openly Zionist students and professors have even received death threats. In 2015, when the UCLA student government questioned Rachel Beda's qualifications to serve simply because of her Jewish affiliations, the national media coverage provoked outrage. Yet in 2020, when the University of Southern California student government subjected Rose Rich to harassment and impeachment proceedings, she resigned. Her case and others have gone largely unnoticed. But Jewish students have responded with ingenuity and courage. They reached out to each other and began to share their stories. They began lobbying their student governments to pass the International Holocaust Remembrance Association, or IRA, definition of anti-Semitism, with the hopes of raising awareness about the many ways they face hostility, harassment, and discrimination. The IRA definition is important because anti-Semitism, like a virus, constantly morphs to adapt to its new environment. Therefore, the IRA definition attempts to incorporate all forms of anti-Semitism. The IRA definition of anti-Semitism is widely accepted. 29 national governments and many more state and local governments around the world have already adopted it. 51 out of 53 major American Jewish organizations now support it. But the IRA definition threatens those who do not want to examine their own words and actions. It challenges those who regard Jews as privileged, evil, or unworthy of the same kinds of consideration and inclusiveness that others deserve. Some anti-Zionists have even launched a campaign to try to advance their own definition of anti-Semitism. They tokenize a small minority of Jews to legitimize their own anti-Semitic positions. On April 20th, the Holocaust and Genocide Studies Department at Stockton University, along with Temple University's Feinstein Center for American Jewish History, and Congregation Rodef Shalom invite Kenneth Stern and Joyce Aljuni to speak in Philadelphia about the weaponization of anti-Semitism. Billed as a peace activist, Aljuni has accused Israel of ethnic cleansing and directed a summer camp for teens featuring a whole day of interaction with a member of the Marxist Palestinian terrorist group responsible for the 2019 bombing that killed 17-year-old Rina Schnurb. Kenneth Stern, director of the Bard Center for the Study of Hate, is promoting his new book. His claim to be the primary author of the IRA definition has been refuted by Rabbi Andrew Baker and two other authors of the final version of the IRA definition. There are many Jews who feel Professor Stern is being tokenized as an anti-IRA advocate. The program's title itself, The Weaponization of Discourse, Israel, Palestine, Anti-Semitism, and Free Speech on Campus, suggests that Jews might weaponize the definition of anti-Semitism to a nefarious end. At the time this video was made, the sponsors of this event have been asked to include at least one pro-IRA voice on their panel, but they have refused. We ask that you make your voice heard. We need IRA. 
we must define it to fight it.